Hi, I'm Jay, and today we're going to tie another two-color bucktail jig. This time, we're going to add some crystal flash. So today we're going to continue the series and tying a simple two-color bucktail jig. Um, again, we're going to use our one-half barumba, and today we're going to add um, some crystal flash. Uh, we're going to do a black and purple jig, and then uh, we're going to add the uh, KF22, which is the uh, crystal flash dark purple. Using our barber scissors with the serrated edge, we snip our pinch and we can change our grips. And I can remove all the short hairs, all the fuzzies, and the broken hairs from the base of the base of the pinch. And I switch my grip, and I can stack these by hand by taking out the longest hair fibers and just placing them back in the pinch until it looks all nice and neat. If there's any that don't quite match or they're just short sticking out we can pull those out and throw them right in our waste bucket. I'm going to extend this hair the length of the body past the hook which on this vise is conveniently right at the end of this silver right here. So I'm going to just change my grip and add this back. I put my hand up here just so I can see the the tips of the hairs a little bit easier. And I can see that they're lined up here. I'll switch my grip one last time and I keep this pinch tight through the whole process. Continue to keep it tight as I trim the hairs at my fingertips. And I place it on top with eight wraps. So that's eight wraps, which has locked this down. I started back about a 30 seconds of an inch back from the head, couple wraps towards the bend of the hook, and then crossed over itself in a couple wraps on the uh, head side. And that's locked on nice and tight. At this point, just grab that pinch and twist it so everything rotates to what will be the back of the jig when it's out of the vise. Our next color is purple. This tail, the hair is um, very long, very long and straight hairs on this. so It's not a bad tail, um, but it's uh, the bucktail's a little bit easier to tie with if they have a little bit of texture, not quite so straight. Um, I have a feeling this pinch will actually be fat. We're going to have to weed out some of the extra hair. So very long as you can see, and we're going to stack just like before. Some of these hairs. I'm going to just toss out to start with because I can feel that this pinch is a little thick. Um, Alright, so I'm going to hold this up and then I'm going to, because this feels a little thick to me, so I'm just pulling out a few of these hairs, a few extra hairs, putting them in my waste bucket. going to adjust my stack these a little bit better make sure everything's lined up there we go so again I'm going to place the pinch up to the jig and I'm going to adjust my pinch until these are all lined up nice and straight Switch my grip again, keeping this left hand pinch tight. Trim it close to my fingers, lay it right on top. We're going to lock this down. So I started again about 30 seconds of an inch back from the head, added my wrap, and then a few wraps towards the bend of the hook, and then a couple wraps back to the head, um, which locks everything down. Now I take the hair back to the side closest to the bend of the hook, 
and now I can wrap up to the head. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video at this left a little indent right here. I'm going to add a couple extra wraps just to fill that in before I walk it back to the hook and then back to the back to the head. So that the hair's on there nice and tight. That's actually a collar just about ready to be finished, but we need to add our crystal flash. So the crystal flash comes attached to a zip tie. I leave it all together and I have um, you want some sort of weight. I use a Chinese teacup. I lay the crystal flash so it hangs off the edge of my table just a little bit longer than the length that I'm going to use. Then I can take my weight and I place it right on top of of the hair of the fibers and just holds it nice and flat against my desk. So now I can re reach down with my fingers and use my barber scissors to just separate some fibers. I'm going to take three fibers and I snip um, length of fibers that are a little bit longer than the hair here. Um, if I held this up, let's see, as you can see here, it would be it would be just past the hairs. So with the crystal flash it's very easy to lay in. First what we do is we hold it with the fibers extended towards the head and then you just wet it with your tongue just like you're going to getting ready to thread a needle. And I just snip the very very end just to make sure that all three of those fibers are the same are cut evenly and because this jig broke uh, this vise rotates I can turn it like so and I can place I can lay that crystal flash right where I want it I, I walk my threads back to my uh, my wrap back to about the center of the collar now I'm going to lay these right down the center line And there I just gave it three wraps just to hold that in place. Now I have the crystal flash laying on my finger and I can kind of see where the ends are. I give them a snip just to make sure that they're uh, the same length of, as the hairs um, and only extend to the end of the silver part on my vise. Now I can turn it to the other side and I'll do the same thing. I'll snip three fibers from my crystal flash bunch wet the ends just like you're going to thread a needle I snip the tips just to make sure they line up and I can lay that right in place right down the center line of the jig and there it's closed in place Snip the ends just so it's the right length. And now I can straighten my jig out in the vise and I can walk the thread down to just to the edge of my collar towards the bend of the hook and then with loose wraps back to the head. Let's go back. Loose wraps back to the head and then I can walk the thread about halfway back on the collar and then back to the head just to create just to create a cone shape there and we're going to do that again as we whip finish um, I use a length of alt, a different color thread to aid with the whip finish I could whip finish by hand or use a whip finish tool um, I think using a length of thread in a loop like this um, helps keep the collars looking pretty. So I have, I you know, 15 inches or so of thread, maybe a hair longer, um, and I fold it in half to create a loop. Reach underneath my vise and bring the loop up underneath my last wrap on the top of my collar there. And now I can 
with touching wraps. I walk the thread back towards the bend of the hook about halfway back on the collar and now I can with touching wraps back to the head. Switch my grip on the thread so now there's tension between my left hand and the jig keeping that thread on the collar nice and tight. I can snip and take my tag, place it through the loop that I've created and pull it through. So there's a lot of ways to whip finish a jig head and um, if you're only doing one or two doing it by hand is no no big deal. And there we have it. You can see three fibers of crystal flash down each end of the down each center line of the each side of the jig. And now we can place it back in our vise to finish it off. I'm going to use a lacquer based head cement. And this is thinned down just so it's um, thin enough to saturate the thread fibers. And also the little bit that also touches the hair, the capillary action will soak in and draw that uh, head cement underneath and in to the inside of the collar as well. I don't like using Zappa Gap or Super Glues for the head cement. Um, I find that Super Glue saturates the threads very well but then dries very brittle, which could cause the, the uh, collar to actually crush and split. And there you have it. Finished jig head, finished one half Barumba, black and purple, with a dark purple crystal flash.
So there you have it, another simple two color bucktail jig, this time with a little bit more flash. I will add down below any tools or materials that we used here today. Like and subscribe if you like the content here today. You can follow me on Instagram at jisoutdoorsy. And until next time, tight lines.